Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today I'm quite annoyed. I went to edit the last episode that I had, and guess what? The audio of it was bad, and for some reason, the quality of the video just was like square and sideways. It didn't make sense to me. It's like the video recorded, you know, like, a uh, portrait, so like, straightforward. And it recorded like that the whole episode, and then it, it just glitched out and only recorded 12 minutes of episode. So I guess what happened was, well, I don't know, the actual, normally it's on horizontal, I think it's like the landscape of it or whatever. It's normally landscape or portrait, and for some reason it was sound portrait. So when it recorded, it was recording portrait style instead of landscape. And it only recorded 12 minutes of video when there was 28 minutes of video that I was just under. And what I did was I went to my jungle and mined a load of chlorophyte ores. And I also also got some... There was something else that I made. But anyway, we're going to go to a dive out today. And we're going to make some orange dye. So I'm quite annoyed that the last episode didn't get out. But if I can figure out what happened to that, I will actually look into it. And maybe I'll try to recover it if I can and show you guys what I did because it was so annoying. It records. I'm so annoyed that it recorded in portrait though. But anyway, um, we got some orange dye now. I didn't realise that it was only the orange blood root you needed for orange dye. So we do have some orange dye now, and I think we will work on getting the flame dye eventually as well, which would be pretty cool. But first, we need to equip this dye. So how do you like make it into? Right, I don't want to do that. I want to make it in into separate. There we go. And then, I think from there, we could just equip it. Okay, there's no equip button, so we have to do it manually anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to manually move this over to here. Okay, there we go. Orange dye number one. One. Orange dye number two. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Get on there. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Die number two. Wait. Yep, that went on. And eventually, we'll get die number three on there as well. And once we've got die number three on there, we have got some dyed stuff. This is the first time we have dyed. We can't dye accessories, though, which is a bit disappointing. But now we are orange. We look like an Oompa Loompa. Woo! We are orange. We are an Oompa Loompa. But hope you're all having a great day, guys. Like I said, I'm quite annoyed that the last episode didn't record properly. I really wish it would have because... That was a good episode. I actually killed a turtle and got a turtle shell, which I don't know where where the turtle shell is. Because all the stuff that I got, I shoved into these chests. So, we're going to have to look if I can find it anywhere. No, it's not in there either. But, we need to find that turtle shell because then I'll only need two turtle shells uh, over the one. Over the three, sorry. Because if I got two turtle shells, then I've got that one. I can make it straight away. But anyway, let's go make our bar stay. I think we're going to have just about enough to make the armor. Okay, we've got 56 bars plus the 11 we already had. So we've got 67 bars. And we want to increase our melee because that's what we use the most. So we're going to make the chlorophyte mask, the chlorophyte plate mail, and the chlorophyte greaves. And of course, we had enough to make the whole armor. Now, last episode, I made sure we had enough to get the whole armor. I was in this world, and I was in my other world. And I even literally went back and forth in the world to try to get them. So I was quite annoyed that I didn't record. But today we have some chlorophyll armor, which is awesome. So we can uh, swap it out for a hollowed armor. I don't know if we're going to get more defense. 62 over the 58, I think it was. I think it was about 58. Let's take a look. Oh, 56 defense. And the full equipped gives you 90% increased melee and movement speed. So I don't know. I think the chlorophyll gives you a flower above your head. Yeah, powerful leaf, which shoots crystal... Leaf bullets at enemies, I guess that is. And increase melee. Increase cha critical chance as well. So, yeah, we should be good. See, don't, don't fire as fast now. But we do have that leaf above our head. Which will actually do damage as well. Which is very, very helpful. And like I say, we still need to work on getting that turtle armor. So, I'm going to go back to the jungle today. Farm a few more turtles, hopefully. And hopefully we can get that new armor. Because we are one step closer to getting there. Also... I want to make the Ankh Shield. So next episode, I'm going to work on getting all the stuff for the Ankh Shield. So I've got it all written down what I need. But this episode, I really wanted to go for turtles again. Because turtles are the number one thing that, you know, that I, that I want right now. So that's what I'm going to go for. But before we do that, let's just take a look if our jungle's to the left. Alright, I, I always get it mixed up between both of my worlds. Because one of them are to the left and one of them are to the right. And then when I go swap over to one world... It's annoying because I do it and I'm like, oh, wait, it's the other side, isn't it? So, yeah. Uh, can we make any weapons, by the way, with the rest of the chlorophyll we've got left? How many we've got left? 13. That might just be enough to make a sword. 
No, it is. We can make a short bow, a shot bow if we want. Not short bow, it's a shot bow. We can make a chlorophyte claymore or a chlorophyte saber. So the saber's very fast speed, weak knockback, shoots a spore cloud. Whereas this, 85 melee speed, 25 critical, average speed and average knockback and shoots a powerful orb. So I reckon we're going to go with the powerful, mm, I don't know, the powerful orb. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Let's do that. So, we have actually got ourselves a new sword as well. Oh, we got one glorified bar left as well. That is very, very lucky. But that is awesome. Let's take a look. Yeah, I knew I knew which one it was. I didn't know it. Oh, I, I thought it took mana off you for some reason. It doesn't. All right, we'll use the glorified claymore for now, which I reckon is going to be a very good idea to. And I don't think we've got our minions spawned in. Because that was me swapping worlds last episode. I literally, every time you swap a world or reload your game, you have to literally... Go back and do it. So, yeah. But I was quite annoyed to find out that last episode just didn't record. Honestly, I'm just going to keep going on about that now. I'm just gonna <laughs> it's, gonna, it's one of those things that are just on your mind. You know when you've done something really good and then you turn around and it's just gone? That's how annoying it is. But, no, I don't know how strong this Chlorophyte Orb is or how strong this Leaf is above my head. But we'll soon see. We've got Illuminati Slime there. We've got Lava back there. It already looks like we're a bit more powerful because I'm pretty sure we knocked into that Illuminati Slime. Or the Illuminate Slime. I know, I know what it is really, but I call it Illuminati Slime just because I do. Right, this jungle surface is a lot bigger as well, isn't it? So I reckon we'll be better off in this world when we're farming for turtles. Because, like I say, um, in a bigger area of world, like, there's one. See what I mean? That they seem to spawn more. Alright, no turtle shell off that one, but it's all good. They don't drop turtle shells too often, like I was saying last time. So, hopefully we can just uh, mine the top of it. Well, not mine the top, but man the top and try find a few turtles. Don't know whether to remove this, this meteorite. It didn't really annoy me last episode, so, hmm, should be okay. But hopefully we can find some more chlorophyte as well, because I'd really like to make one of those chlorophyte shot bows, just to see how strong it is and see how it works out, I guess. There's a load of Paladinium. I like how this ward has Paladinium, though. That's just all good. Illuminati. Why is there so many Illuminati bats around? Don't get it. There's loads of them. <laughs> Absolutely tons of them. Well, there we go. Got some... Uh, what's that called again? Ah, oh, Crimson. Crimtain. That's it. Crimtain. I was going to say, what's that called again? It's Crimtain. So, yeah, I definitely know what it's called. <laughs> there we go. But, yeah, I think, I think this Clawfight Claymore will be a very a good uh, equipable we've got here. Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Or not equipped what weapon we've got here. There's so much paladinium. I just really want to go collect it all, but I don't at the same time because it's just useless. There we go. Oh, not a, nature's gifts annoy me now because a lot of people find them so hard to get and then I, I find them so easy to get. And I don't see why people find them so hard to get. It doesn't make sense. You can just see where I've mined it all. That's where I was mining last episode for all of the chlorophyte. Oh, God. I literally mined through a whole place and there was loads all in all in a line. All in a line. It was mental. Well, let's go down and see if we can... You know, what I might do, though, is... I don't know. Shall I farm the top or shall I just go into the jungle? Because, like say, turtles seem to spawn in large open areas of the jungle. So, I'm not 100% sure what we should do right here. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Maybe I should, I should bring my... Cupid with me because the Cupid actually lights up a nice bit of area, but the Cupid is just not oh a bit more cloth right there That's lovely. Like say it, it's always good to find it uh, I love it when you find like a batch of like 30 of it though because I found that last episode and I was Outstanding it was like this tungsten here. It was just all in one but with the uh, iron as well. It was mad Right come on We've got to get up here now and hopefully we can find some turtles because that's the main thing what I've come down here for and doing this for, for turtles. So, yeah, no, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the surface and farm there because I reckon, like I say, that'll probably be the best, my best option to do because down here it just looks like that they're not spawning. So, if I stay at the top, maybe they'll spawn on me and start killing me. But the orange dye is really cool. I really like the orange dye. It's actually, it's actually lights your player up a little bit, which is pretty cool. I forgot I had my pickaxe equipped. There we go. Another one dead. We're going to find any more turtles, though. That's uh, that's the thing. This is what this episode is going to be called. I'm going to call it Turtle Hunt. Because that's what we're doing. We're hunting for turtles. We need to find some, though. Come on. There's got to be some somewhere. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I actually found the Claw Fighter from last episode as well. It was in the chest in the bottom left-hand corner uh, on my other world. You'll know which one it is if you've been watching for a while, but if you don't know, I'll go back into that world soon. It was there. I had 142 pieces of Claw Fighter, I think it was. 142 pieces, and then obviously the rest of the Claw Fighter I found for the other episode. Rapid Camers. Don't know if the uh, turtles like to be near water, so I'm going to move away from the water. And hopefully, we can find some more stuff. No, there's no turtles here. Come on, turtles. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Flying foxes. That's not what we need. We don't need flying foxes. Possessed armors. We don't need you. We don't need you. Tell you what we do need, though. We need some turtles. So, yeah, turtle did spawn there, but uh, I don't know what to do. Shall I go down, up, down, up? It's, it's really confusing me what to do. I don't know. Because they, they spawn in big open areas, and that's my problem. Like, down here, I don't have big open areas. I've got places where I mine, but that's about it. Such a big jungle. I love having a big jungle, though, because you can search around in it. Really good. Right. So let's um, search a bit more down. I guess we can go down a bit. Maybe make an open area, see if we can find any more turtles. It's the best thing to do, I think, because they just don't seem to want to spawn. And I guess when the when that's when that's all that's happening. Oh, a snail just is slowly pacing down. <laughs> I love snails. Snails are actually really funny. Nope, nothing else there. Moss on it. So dark down in these caves as well. So so dark. I don't like it when it's dark. Here we go. A bit more cloth right there. Just one little bit of it. That's a builder's potion, I think, in there. Yeah, mining potion even. Should we use that mining potion so we're faster? Let's do it. Boom. Whoa, look at that. That actually increases it quite a lot. So we've got Shroomite Digging Claws right now. It's actually going really fast. We're, we're collecting a bunch more Chlorophyte as well, which is really cool. There we go. Let's keep going down. Eventually we'll get... Oh, eventually we'll get something. There'll be some turtle or something down here. Plant Terra Spawner. Turtle or something. I don't really know. All the ores annoy me, though. I might start mining them soon, because it's so annoying having tons of them, and then just not doing anything with them. I reckon this is a nice place to be. So uh, swap out for our sword again. We've got so much junk in our inventory, it's unbelievable. But I do mine a lot, so I blame myself for that. I blame myself all day of the week. Nope, nothing down there. Just keep going. Anglerfish, we don't need you. Come on, turtles. You know you want to spawn. You know you want to spawn in. Literally no luck whatsoever so far with these turtles. Should we try fight some more? Um, Yeah, we could, couldn't we? Yeah, let's go try fight some more of these. Because I reckon we've got a good chance against them. The only problem is we haven't got any spawners. So maybe we can deposit some of the stuff in here and grab some spawners. There we go. And let's kill some mobs then and get some spawners. No spawner so far. But this sword is very powerful. Like, I've got to agree with you guys. Like, it's better having a sword than anything else. It, it really is. If you're doing anything with this, it's 100% recommended to try and get a sword. Okay. We're getting destroyed right now. Nope. I'm not going to go in there. Just because of the trap. <laughs> the Lizard was getting burned to death. I feel sorry for him. I feel really sorry for him right now. It's so dark for some reason. I don't know why it's gone so dark. Like, honestly, I don't know. But we're just going to wait for any Lizards to come and kill us. No Lizards whatsoever? Lizards? Lizards? Whatever you want to call them? No? No one no, no, no want to come and kill me? Nah, I don't think they do. Let's head over back into our other world anyway. We'll go check out some stuff there. There we go. But we do have some um, Golem Spawners, I'm pretty sure, somewhere. Go Loot Games Epic Adventure. Let's go and see what we can do. So like I say, I did want to try and get some turtles. And the turtle hunt's not going very well so far. Yeah, the, the chlorophyte was in this chest here. And I don't know what it was doing there. But it just was really weird if you ask me. Because I don't remember putting it there. But beats me. Come on, anyway, let's go. And we're going to, like I say, try find... Some spawners. Yeah, spawners is what I need. And I think I left my spawners. Ooh. Nimbus Rod? 
No, oh, no Numus Rod. But I think I'll have my spawners down here somewhere. I believe they'll be in these chests here if they're anywhere because this is where I normally put my stuff. Nimbus Rod. I mean, spawners, golem spawners. None whatsoever. Pretty sure I had some somewhere. No. Did I use them all? I can't remember if I farmed him or not. I can't remember if I farmed him or not. It's totally gone out of my head if I have or I haven't. But I'm pretty sure I had some spawners somewhere. It's actually... Beats me then. I'm pretty sure I had them in... This one needs to sort my... <laughs> this one needs to sort all of my stuff, don't I, guys? Oh, no. I knew it would come back to haunt me one day. I wonder how hard a Leapus would be nowadays. Let's, let's test how strong this is. There we go. Let's, let's test how strong the Leapus is. I mean, you can summon it whenever, and I'm pretty sure I've got all the stuff from it. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool to see how strong it'd be. Because they're, 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 they're pretty strong in pre-hard mode. But as soon as I got some, some good armor and stuff. Some good armor. Here we go. Zoom out to see where it is. Is it spawned to the left or the right? I'm not too sure. don't think it's even spawned in yet. It says it's awoken, but I don't see it. Is that it? Nope, that's just a possessed armor. Okay, then. Nothing there. Oh, here it is. There he is. Leapus. We'll try killing him with the Claymore, and hopefully we can kill him quite fast. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much destroying him. He does have a lot of life, though. Like, a lot of life. That's not even a joke. He has tons of life. Like, a ton of it. I think he has uh, more life than what most bosses have. But he isn't too strong. That's the good thing. But he still has a lot of life. And I've just realized I've not got my minion anymore. So I'm going to have to spawn that in. See what I mean? He has taken a lot of damage off me just by attacking me the little bit. He hardly attacked me. What? Whatsoever. Right, so we took about half his life off now, which is awesome. Come on. We're doing good. We're doing good so far to do this well. Come on, Leapus, die. Come on, Leapus. He is taking a bunch of life off me. I might swap to my uh, <laughs> to some vampire knives in a minute to try to drain some life off him. Oh, Leapus egg. Oh, just about killed that as well. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to spawn then. I literally didn't even pay attention to it. Does it get faster as it gets less life then? I think it might do. Yeah, it's starting to get faster now as it's got less life. Come on. You're almost dead. It's got more defense as well. It seems like I'm doing less damage to it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to have to kill this. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Good, good. Boom. Leaper's dead. And we got the Boots of Ostra, which we've already got those. And fertilize, fertilizes soil. And it gives us five gold coins. Wow. It's a really good method to get gold coins then, which is awesome. But let's continue our turtle hunt and keep going on. Because I, I, I can't find my spawners whatsoever for the golem so the golem spawners seem to be just gone but let's go back to the jungle biome and see if we can find any more turtles they seem to spawn quite a lot on the top so i'm just going to chill on top and farm a few and i'm going to do a time lapse for you guys so hopefully it's uh, interesting like i say time lapses i'm not sure if you guys like to watch time lapses i know they're not the funniest thing but it has some music and it's a bit it's fun for me and that's what i'm going to do right now so i'll see you soon guys and i'll speak to you very soon <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
So there we have it guys, with the parts cut out and the speeded up, that time lapse was actually 42 minutes, I think it was, or 43 minutes, something like that, and, well, I don't actually know, let me work it out, this part gets to about 20 something minutes, yeah, I'd say it was around, around 42 minutes long, I cut parts out, and like I said, I sped it up, so it'll probably only be about 3 or 4 minutes worth of farming, but I did manage to get myself one turtle shell. So that's one step closer. And I believe I've got one somewhere else as well. So it will be two if I can find that one as well. But it really depends if I can find it or not. And hopefully we can get more chlorophyte. Because I do want to make chlorophyte arrows and chlorophyte bullets. So that I can use both of them to test things out. I just want to do some tests and stuff. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me today. I was so annoyed that the last episode did get deleted. Of course, in between those episodes, I do farm as well. So I farm for some chlorophyte myself in between the episodes. And that's what, how I got the amount I did today. And I lost the whole episode of about 28 minutes. I think it was edited down. Well, it would have been about 28 minutes edited down. Because there was about 5 minutes of farming when I sped it up. So, things happen. But hopefully you can join me next episode, guys. Please leave a like, subscribe. Stay frosty. And peace. I can barely live this thing. I can barely live this thing. When it goes into rage mode, it's much easier to kill, in my opinion. That mode. As long as you stay away from it, it don't fire any of it, if it's uh, little petals or whatever they are. Okay, I'll just do myself. Come on. Yes, got up. I think I'm going to die, but what I'm going to try and do is heal myself up. But I think I'm going to die as soon as I click off this. Yeah, I couldn't do anything there, guys. Like I say, I do die sometimes. And I've killed plenty of planetaries in my time. But things like that happen. <laughs> things like that really happen. But no, uh, the, the reason I've died...